Hello everyone, I'm Vera Wack and welcome to my channel. In this channel, I'm going to be watching movies for the first time and also movies that I've seen when I was younger but I don't really remember anything about it. So to start things off, I will be watching Harry Potter. So I'm pretty sure I saw some Harry Potter when I was younger. Um, I don't remember much from it. I know there's like, you're a wizard, Harry. And from what I know... Robert Pattinson is going to be in it. I don't know which movie. And I recently found out there's eight Harry Potter movies. I thought there was like five. So I don't really know much about Harry Potter. Oh, and this, you know, he has a scar and there's the three Hermione, Ron and Harry. Wow. Um, but other than that, I don't know too much about it. So I would say this is probably safe to say this is my first time seeing it. If you're interested in seeing the full reaction, it is available on my Patreon, which you can find in the description below. Aside from that, I also stream on Twitch, which you can follow me there and hang out. And I also have another YouTube channel. Without further ado, let's begin. Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. I thought it was Philosopher's Stone, so I'm... Not sure? Privet Drive, and there's an owl. Dark and stormy night. No, it's not stormy, it's just dark and full of terrors, I think. Oh, Gandalf. Dumbledore. Oh, Dumbledore. There was a time, I think still, some people got confused between Gandalf and Dumbledore, but I know Lord of the Rings pretty damn well, so I cannot get confused. They look so different. Is that a... Is that a lighter? Lightsaber? I don't understand what he's doing. He's stealing the light? A flying motorcycle? A flying motorcycle. That is... Okay. Albus, oh, that's not good. Do you really think it's safe? Stealing lights and kidnapping children. They are the baddies, I think. I was wondering how he got into that family, because I know, I just remember, the family is pretty terrible. But, um... I don't remember how he got there. Now I know. I suppose that's cozy. Oh, look, he has a rotten apple. Oh, gosh. It looks like a rotten apple. Up, oh, I don't like this guy at all. It's not dandruff. It's just sawdust, I swear. What a piece of... Oh, what a bigger piece of douche nozzle. Ooh, that's a big stink. You're boring. Get out of here, Dudley. Dudley do right. Yeah. I never knew my parents either. Mommy, Dad, come here! You believe what this snake is doing? Oh, I wish I could just like <laughs> do that exactly. <laughs> That's right. Take that. Get in snake poop water. Yeah. Hope you enjoy it, Dudley. Mister H. Potter, the cupboard under the stairs. Little winging, win, whinging, winning, win. I'll be writing to you. What a freaking oh! This piece of work, I tell you, all of them, all three of them. Hogwarts, hmm. Huh. Hogwarts School of Magic. Oh look, a flock of owls. What is a flock? It's not a murder. A murder of crows. Flock of owls. I feel like I knew what this was. It's like a. I don't know what it was. Block. Wow. Is he seriously standing on that table? I feel like that's not safe at all. Will that table just break or what? <laughs> Death by a thousand paper cuts. Uh... Did he wish for Thor to show up or something? Thor, god of thunder. Oh, Hagrid. With an umbrella. He's like Mary Poppins. I've never seen a Mary Poppins, but Sorry, I know the whole umbrella I... thing. Sorry about that. Mm-hmm. Blunt what? You're a wizard, Harry. It's in this movie? Hagrid says it? 
I always thought it was like, you're a wizard, Harry. I guess, I guess that seems a little bit silly to have a really high pitched voice, doesn't it? Never insult Albus Dumbledore. <laughs> Please, sir, uh, don't turn me into anything unnatural. Is there only one person named Harry in the entire wizardry universe? Welcome back. How do they know it's Harry Potter? Harry Potter. Can't tell you how pleased I am. To I don't like this guy. Hello, professor. I didn't see you there. I don't trust hey. that guy. Not That's not one bit. Welcome, Harry, to Diagon Alley. Diagon Alley. I know. What, I mean, I've heard it. I've heard it so many times, but I just haven't. I didn't know what it was, but now I do. I am putting a name to the place, right? A face to the name? No, name to the face? Face face to the name. Name to the place. Place to the name. Place to the name. I don't know what I said first. Thousands. Nimbus 2000. Harry's yet. definitely going to get that broom. It doesn't matter. Harry's going to get it for whatever reason. He needs it. He's going to use it. Or just a key. I thought that this would be like, oh my god, wizard stuff to open the bank vault or something. Oh wow. That is a lot of gold. You're rich, Harry. <gasps> oh, magic! Yes! Use your magic. Look at that. Okay, it's like someone's lunch. I feel like this is just someone's lunch wrapped up. I know it's not, but it just looks like it. Like whenever you go to the butcher or something and then you get a piece of meat and then they wrap it up like that. That's sort of what I'm thinking of. Oh, the Philosopher's Stone. Ah, oh wait, Sorcerer's Stone? Philosopher. Oh, this is it. This is definitely the one. You should be destined for this wand when its brother gave you that scar. Oh. And who owned that wand? Voldemort. We do not speak his name. Oh, well, it's Voldemort. Come on. We all know this. Not all wizards are good. Well, no. There was one wizard that went as bad as you can go, and his name was... Vero? All right. Voldemort. 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 Voldemort! Jeez. Way to ruin everything, Harry. Your parents fought against him. But nobody lived once he decided to kill him. Why would he kill them, though? Nobody. Not one. Except for you. you. The child survived. I feel like we're missing some kind of story here. He, like, literally almost ran into that person walking by like hurry up get out of the way ron's gonna hit you go so you run through the wall and then you can come out the other side and run into someone that is dangerous there should be like a safety check or something i figured these wizards would be smarter than that are you doing magic let's see them they're so young this is sunshine they're so daisies, young turn this stupid fat right yellow Not really working now, is it? Example. Don't put your wand at him. Repair it. Good job, Hermione. Red hair and a hand-me-down robe. You must be a Weasley. Definitely mini Joffrey. Douche nozzle. You don't want to go making friends with the wrong sort. Oh, can you? You are the wrong sort. Draco Malfoy. Myself, thanks. Oh, take that, Mr. Filch. Mr. Filch. <gasps> Walter Frey. Oh gosh. Right. Okay. Gryffindor. Yay. I mean, that's all I know. I know there's. I think that's the first time I've ever seen clapping like this. Oh, that's Slytherin for sure. Definitely. Slytherin! Didn't even have to put the hat on his head. 
But like, if Harry can talk to snakes, can he go into Slytherin? Because they slither- ooh, ooh, ooh. <sighs> Snape. Snape. Severus Snape. Gryffindor! Well, of course. Are you sure? Mm-hmm, mm -hmm. You could be great, you know. It's all here. Great, but terrible. But Slytherin will help you on the way to greatness. There's no doubt about that. Gryffindor! There you go. With his buddies. What? What? This is like overexcited Dumbledore clapping. This is like, mm hmm yes, yes, quite. And then this is Dumbledore Harry Potter. Nice. He's very invested. Oh, are they late? Oh, they're late. Oh, no, wait. But a wizard is never late, Professor McGonagall. Nor is he early. He arrives precisely when he means to. I mean, this, this literally fits. I don't know, sir. <laughs> Hermione is just awesome. I know, I know. Pity. Pity is what saved Bilbo's hand. Clearly, Hermione knows. Seems a pity not to ask her. <laughs> oh boy. They've got a great relationship. While acknowledging the breach, insists nothing was taken. The vault in question, number 713, 713, you That's say? Hmm. I went to. Hmm. Curious. Very curious. Yeah, an idiot. But, you know. He's helping. You your Those are some nice mountains in the back. Very nice. Have it your way, then. What a troublemaker. Oh, that was a nice catch. Seeker. Oh, um, uh, Quidditch, right? You must be the youngest Quidditch player in a century. Look at that. Quidditch Seeker. Oh gosh, the stairs are changing. Enjoy. Before the staircase moves again. Was locked, and for good reason. <gasps> Doggo? Oh, it doesn't look very, um, cheerful and wanting to be pet. Okay, well. It was standing on a trap door, which means it wasn't there by accident. It's guarding something. Ooh. It's, it's Leviosa, Leviosa, not Leviosa. Everyone knows that line, right? For sure. Ooh. Guardian Leviosa. It's Leviosa, not Leviosa. No wonder she hasn't got any friends. Ron, you're such a douche nozzle. Why you gotta be so rude? Oh, why is he so terrified? I thought you ought to know. <laughs> Isn't he like defense against the dark arts teacher? Shouldn't he be like Defending and not being terrified of a troll? All right. Is Snape running away like a coward? No. No, I... No. But yes. Hermione! Be careful. Uh, well, this isn't where I parked my car. Hello? Wow, she, like, just narrowly avoided it. Use your wand, Harry! I mean, I guess he did use his wand. Oh my god, Ron got it! See, it's a good thing Hermione taught him how to do it. Be that as it may, it was an extremely foolish oh. thing to do. Snape? Last night, I'm guessing Snape let the troll in as a diversion. So no. He try and get past that three-headed dog. A broom! Wow, I never would have guessed. Oh, wait. It's the Nimbus 2000! It's not just a broomstick, Harry. 
to Nimbus 2000. Wow. Gryffindor versus Slytherin. The most anticipated match of the year. Winner takes all. Do something! He's just like, oh my god, no, we're not doing too well. Well, go find the freaking snitch. Oh, there we go. Now that it's right in your face, you're like, oh, I guess I'll follow it. Uh, is this broom cursed? Oh, oh, I see. Yo, oh, Hermione. You know spells, obviously. What do you do, like, light it on, put it on fire? Lacanum in yeah. Bam, take that. Oh, there we go. Everything's fine. Go, Harry. Go, Harry Potter. Oh, is it in his mouth? Did he swallow it? Pop goes the snitchel. What that dog is guarding is strictly between Professor Dumbledore and Nicholas Flamel. Oh, Hagrid. I shouldn't have said that. I've got presents. Yeah. What? He's like, I've never had this before. What is this nonsense? Some kind of cloak. Or a cloak. Well, let's see them. Put it on. Oh, a cloak of invisibility. Restricted section. The restricted section was just guarded by like a tiny lock you could just slide open. Clearly, it's not really restricted. Well, the fray. Oh, I just, oh. You don't want me as your enemy, Clark. <laughs> oh boy, Harry, that is just too close for comfort. Some form of elvish. You can't read it. There are few who can. The language is that Mordor. And I will not utter here. So the mirror shows him. Oh god, that hand. Um not what he doesn't have, but what oh what he um like what he wants the most. Here Sorcerer's is. Stone. Nicholas Flamel is the only known maker of the Sorcerer's Stone. Philosopher's Stone. And produces the elixir of life, which will make the drink for immortal. Ooh, immortal, I like that. Ain't no one gonna get past Fluffy. <laughs> Ain't a soul knows how, except for me and Dumbledore. <laughs> oh, Hagrid, you should not say anything, it seems. His food is alive? A bowling ball? Is that how the, like, Quidditch balls are made? Oh no, that's <gasps> Dragon's Egg. He's got his dragon. Who's that? Malfoy. Oh no, Malfoy. Yeah, yeah but Malfoy was there too. He should, he should be punished. Punish Malfoy. Yes. And to ensure it doesn't happen again, all four of you will receive detention. You see, honourable as your intentions were, you two were out of bed after hours. <laughs> Take that, Malfoy. Yeah, that's right. Oh, for God's sake, pull yourself together, man. You're going into the forest after all. Why is detention in the forest? It doesn't make sense at all. You can't go in there. Yeah, no, you can't. See that? Mercury? That's unicorn. That is. Unicorn blood. Our job. Go and find the poor beast. Okay. Uh, Hermione, you'll come with me. Wait, you're splitting them up? Oh, kids can't go in the dark forest. No, it's too dangerous. By the way, you guys could just, you know, not even come with me. Go somewhere else. Oh, is that a unicorn? That's a dead unicorn. Voldemort? That's all I can guess, because as far as I know, that's the big bad evil guy. Oh boy. 
Bam! Punch in the face! Or not. I feel like the music wasn't epic enough. I'm a little... disappointed. That from the moment the blood touches your lips, you will have a half-life. A cursed life. Interesting. Can you think of more? Voldemort? Who's the one wizard Voldemort always feared? Harry? Dumbledore. Oh. As long as Dumbledore's around, Harry, you're safe. Really? But but he was in the forest and he could have easily been attacked. So Cod Swallop. So oh, the Hagrid. Trick with any beast is to know how to calm him. Take Fluffy, for example. Just oh, Hagrid. I'm afraid Professor Dumbledore is Oh, how convenient he's not here. You'll get Gryffindor into trouble again. I, I, I'll fight you. Petrificus Totalus. Oh my god, his head. Oh. Oh, that must have hurt. Give him a concussion, why don't you? Oh, Hermione. You are so evil. Brilliant. Great, but terrible things. Maybe she should be in Slytherin. He's asleep. Snoring. Oh, snoring. Look at Doggo. Oh, it just goes scratch the Doggo. Are they in an alien movie? Plant things? It looks like when, like in Aliens when they're, yeah. Uh-oh. This is Devil's Snare. You have to relax. If you don't, it'll only kill you faster. Just listen to Hermione. That is a big spell. There you go, Ron. Oh, this is like they're each showing their strength or whatever. They're like, they excel at something. Hermione did the plant thing. There's a broom for someone to fly, which would be Harry. And then Ron will have his shining moment in the next room. I feel like this is just all traps for first year students. Because... The plant thing would have easily been done, uh, like, solved by, like, a second or third year, especially a teacher. And I'm sure at a higher level than, you know, first year student, you probably have some kind of spell to single target the key or something. I don't know. Ron hasn't done anything, has he not? He hasn't excelled at anything. Except being mean to his friends. Oh, chess? This is like the chess event in uh, World of Warcraft, if this is chess. It looks pretty massive. It looks like chess. Harry, you take the empty bishop square. Hermione, you'll be the queenside castle. Wait, you're saying there's two empty squares? Me? Three empty squares? I'll be a knight. There's three empty squares, that means... You need three people? I mean, he's fallen from higher up. No, don't move. Don't forget, we're still playing. This is a little over, overly dramatic, I would say. Checkmate. Oh my god. Completed. Professor Quirrell, after all. Ooh, interesting. Hello, Harry. Even with Snape muttering his little counter curse. <laughs> save me. Good guy, Snape. What does this mirror do? How does he not know? I see myself holding the stone. But how do I get it? Use the force. Use the force. Uh, interesting. 
Is he on his head? Is he like merged? Are they like conjoined twins? What's going on? It's like a... I don't even know. Some kind of alien slug thing. But it cannot give me the body of my own. Oh yeah, the elixir of life. Wait, how does he know? Kill him! Oh boy, flying. More flying. Oh god, seriously, Harry, you had... <laughs> oh boy. That was like the easiest fight ever. It's like uh, in Spider-Man, Mr. Sandman. Bring me a dream. Okay, that was easy. That was too easy. Why the hell does he have like special powers? Special touch? Uh-oh. It's like flying through him. Okay, okay, okay. That, that, that was still a very... Final match, final boss battle. She sacrificed herself for you. And that kind of act leaves a mark. Mm. It lives in your very skin. What? Love, Mary. Love. The power of love. So is this ever going to show up again in the future movies? I feel like it should. Because if it doesn't, it just seems like a useless... Power? Useless pet love power? Oh boy, Slytherin, have they won? Why is it all decorated in Slytherin? It's weird how on the fruit tray there's a pineapple. An uncut pineapple. That's a bit strange. Recent events must be taken into account. What's that you say? Last minute points to award. Oh, how convenient. To Gryffindor? To Miss Hermione Granger, 50 points. To Mr. Ronald Weasley, 50 points. To Mr. Harry Potter. Harry Potter? Oh my Sean god. Love, 60 points. Oh, but, but wait. They're not winning. There's going to be something else. There's going to be like a... I don't know what. Oh. It takes a great deal of bravery to stand up to your enemies. But a great deal more to stand up to your friends. Oh. Ten points. Longbottom. To Neville Longbottom. And done. Gryffindor wins the House Cup. I'm surprised. I feel like another movie, at least Slytherin's gonna win. Is gonna like maybe alternate between them all. I don't know. Slytherin's gonna win at some point for sure. Is that dolt of a cousin of yours? Oh, Dudley. Dudley. Gives you any grief? Threaten him with a nice pair of ears to go with that tail of his. We're not allowed to do magic away from Hogwarts. You know that. Well, your cousin don't, do he? <laughs> Threaten him, yes. Do it, Harry. Do it. You know you want to. Tap into the dark side. Well, there we go. That was uh, that was Harry Potter and the... You know what? Hold on a sec. Let me just look this up. Uh, I think it's relatively common knowledge that in America, the first book in the Harry Potter series is called Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone, while in England, it's called Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone. Interesting. Uh, it was changed by the American publisher, Scholastic, because it thought American children wouldn't want to read a book with Philosopher in the title. Oh. So they changed it so it sounds more magical, I guess? Because instead of having Philosopher's Stone, they'll have for Sorcerer's Stone? I always thought it was Philosopher's Stone, and then I was like, wait, is that Sorcerer's Stone? So I got confused. Very confused. All right, well, there we go. Harry Potter and the... Sorcerosopher's Stone. That's what we watched.
It was interesting. That was nice. So there are some parts that I do remember, but a lot of them I don't. I remember him being, um, I guess, the Seeker in Quidditch. I didn't know it was called the Seeker, but I didn't know which movie it was. So this is a nice little introduction. I liked it. It's very interesting to see the kids, well, be kids. Like they're so young and it's very interesting because I think throughout the movies, we're going to see them obviously grow older and also develop their acting skills, which is going to be nice, I think. Obviously, Malfoy is mini Joffrey is what I call him because he's just. Yeah, um, I think it was a really, really nice movie. I think it would have been great to see as a kid. Yeah, I'm actually looking forward to next movie. So movie number two, which is Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets, I believe. Yeah, Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. So this was Philosopher's Stone next to Chamber of Secrets which was released one year after this one. So I honestly have no idea what to expect. I think I think what I remember from possibly this one, isn't it, there's like, is it in a bathroom or there's like a fountain in the middle and there's a, a room and there's someone who cries in the bathroom? I don't really know. This might be it, but I think that's the extent I know of Chamber of Secrets. The one thing I think I remember the most is Prisoners of Azkaban. I do remember parts of that with Hermione's necklace thing. And there's like some kind of like time. I don't know if it's time travel or I don't know what it is. So out of five, I'm going to try to give ratings to the movies. I think I'm going to give it a 3.5 out of five. It does, my, I think my biggest, not my biggest issue, but one of the things is, I mean, if it wasn't for Hagrid, half of the stuff wouldn't happen. It's always like, oh, I shouldn't have said that. I just, usually Hagrid, seriously. Um, but I feel like some of it was a bit predictable in the sense that it feels like it was like, I guess, a typical story, especially at the part where it's like, oh my God, Hermione's going to excel at this, you know, with all the knowledge and bookworm stuff. And then Harry's going to be good because of the whole flying thing. And then the third one's like, well, Ron did chess, so here's a chess board. Because he hasn't really excelled at anything. I feel like he was playing against Harry. I feel like Harry would have done possibly just did good. But I guess it's, it's to be understood that Ron is good at chess. So that's what he excelled at. Um, I wasn't a huge fan of the, oh, um, the, the, the mark of love or the power of love basically melted his skin or solidified, I don't know, turned his skin into stone and dust basically is a bit weird. I sort of feel like it's a one-off power. Like he's not going to be able to use that kind of power again just by touching people, but we'll see. And just thanks for watching everyone. I'm Vera Wack and don't forget to subscribe. And if you want to see my reaction for the full movie, it is in my Patreon. So check that out. And again, I also stream on Twitch. I stream video games. And I would love to see you and hang out. I'll see you next time.